Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Daily challenge time. First things first, I gotta apologize for yesterday's daily. Um, we did okay. We really, we did really, really well until I made the idiotic mistake to teleport out of boss rush. And then we still did pretty well after that, but we deserve to rank where we ranked, basically. Today, whoo, it is a 43,000 point run from Luke, 42 roughly from Mathis. It's an Azazel run to the Dark Room. 43,000 points. I mean, that seems in line with basically a run that is pretty much by the numbers. Nothing wrong with it, nothing nothing right with it, you know? So this is, I mean, as, as with most Azazel runs, it seems like the run will probably come down to if there's no incredible, like, game-busting synergy that we uh, can either find or miss out on, then probably what you're looking to get on this run is... Um, just the lowest damage penalty humanly possible. Of course, as a Zazel, there's all sorts of interesting uh, things you like to concern yourself with. Like, for example, um, range is actually very useful. Another thing that's worth noting is that it would be nice to get some uh, flipping red hearts here as soon as possible. Uh, but range actually does hamper us uh, pretty seriously against bosses like Hush, Blue Baby, um, and, you know, probably, I guess, the Lamb. Although, I don't know how many times I've actually fought uh, the Lamb with a Zazel. Getting a cube of meat is relatively nice, but it looks like a floor where pretty much everybody's going to get the same thing here. We got a quarter, but no key. This is a great, you know, book by John Grisham. We also got no consumable there, except for the spirit heart. I'm happy to have the spirit heart, but we'll be moving down to the next floor without really that much to talk about. <laughs> when it's fine, like it's not bad, but it's not amazing either. Um, as you might expect, seems very sensible to... Try to use the Chariot card to at least minimize the amount of times we have to get hit to play this guy. I'll try it. Not great. Uh, very bad. Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Unfortunately, we, uh, I mean, we got a, a decent amount out of it, and we did get a luck upgrade, and we didn't get hurt, which is great, because our damage penalty won't suffer. And we got some consumables, so maybe it's not as bad as I was letting on originally, but I really wanted to get something out of that Demon Judgment. I imagine that most people probably would take the pills there, but still. Um... I think here you buy a Spirit Heart and we can afford to take a little bit of a Lark on that. We get a Judgment. Might be worth playing that Judgment. I'm super stoked that we actually found a key, though. We can use that to get into our item room. I figured, you know, the odds of us getting a key from the shop are pretty solid. We could also play the Blood Bank, but I don't think it's worth the loss of the Spirit Heart, even though we would get the extra money. Not just from the Blood Bank, but from our own uh, Golden Heart here. Just don't think it's worth it right now. And I don't think it's worth blowing up the pots, either. Let's just see what we get from in here. Pin is going to be a super simple boss fight. Should not get hit. And this deal with the devil is going to it's going to dictate a lot of how this run actually looks. We should take super bandage so we pay red hearts instead of spirit hearts. At least for the first deal. Uh, and we'll definitely take both here. We'll start with this one, which also gave us our money. And then we'll take ceremonial robes. HP looks great. Still got to find our item room, though. Really, really good situation so far. This run is looking very solid. Um, we could actually use the Judgment card maybe a little smarter. If we bring the Judgment card down to the next floor and pop it, uh, and then blow it up, we actually stand a pretty good chance to, uh, get a better deal with the Devil set up for us. Not a better setup, but better odds of actually opening up the deal with the Devil. I'll try to be as unambiguous as possible there. Alright, so this paid for us to come into the room, which is awesome, and also gives us the mark, which is also incredible. We actually got a nice little speed upgrade there, which isn't range, but... Uh, it does help us actually get close enough to hit enemies. We will totally take that Eternal Heart as well. This is like an unfathomably strong run right now. <laughs> Robo Baby is pretty bad, but everything else is just working out amazingly. Uh, what else would we do here? I honestly, I think it's okay for us to open up the golden chest. Let's see what we got inside of there. Infamy, well worth it. Let's blow this up as well. And we got nothing out of that, but it was worth a shot. Uh, I am happy to have Infamy. We're going to probably get shot at, at least. <laughs> I hope we don't get shot too many times. I know it was our last key, but I figured, hey, you know, luck's been good to us so far. Why not give it a try? So on the next floor, we will try to um, find a good opportunity to use a bomb and then pop the Judgment right next to it so that it'll kind of kill two birds with one stone. I don't want to spend uh, my money to play the Judgment because of the risk of, well, I mean, it, it costs us points is basically what I'm trying to say. I also feel like we should not use Guppy's Paw yet. That much is probably pretty obvious, though. I'd have to guess. 
Not only because we're at full HP, but because one spear or one red heart is more valuable than three spirit hearts early. We can actually play a demon judgment. We could play a blood bank. We could take a deal with the devil for effectively one third of the cost, although it, you know it has its own costs associated with it. In a unique way, got a key out of it. Pills at this point, I'm like, you know, we we're not really we don't have to. Like we're in a pretty good situation and not have to worry about it. So why why mess with it? You did get two extra pills out of that. We also got two bombs out of the Judgment. So we got two bombs for one bomb. And also we got um, the extra deal with the Devil Chance. It's not much. It's like an extra 17% chance or something like that. Like half of the bonus you get for the Pentagram. But if it helps us swing into a deal with the Devil here, maybe get an early Guppy, that would be awesome. Something I haven't really talked about on this run so far, for once in my adult life, is... Uh, ooh, this is interesting. Is teleporting. Yeah, Lusty Blood is definitely good enough. That is an amazing pick up there. Um, I feel bad for anybody who chose to go with uh, the Fear Shot there, or even if it was Charm Shot. The Charm Shot's not as good either. Lusty Blood is incredible. Um, but, uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about the Self-Sacrifice Room as much because we're already going to the Dark Room. We don't want to skip Hush. We don't want to skip Boss Rush. Might as well buy the Battery. Um, and you know what? Let's continue to buy the card. That card paid for itself easily. I think we'll buy the Key as well. So we are spending a lot of money in the process, but unlike Judgment, we're spending it on something we know. You know, we know we're going to get something out of it, because we're literally buying a key. So I think I'm going to choose not to explore the rest of the floor. This isn't motivated by making sure we get to Boss Rush on time, although that is like a nice little secondary benefit. It's more motivated by the fact that I think we can put down a killer score and a killer time. And a range upgrade is huge. Let's head down. Uh, at this point, considering we haven't been hit by an enemy yet... Is that, I don't know why I put on like a snooty voice for that. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy and like an elitist voice. But no, considering we haven't taken any damage so far, I'd say those like, you know, 32,000, 33,000 scores that uh, Iluk and Mathis put down are well within our grasp. It'll uh, it'll take us a while to figure that out, like to, to make sure that that's verifiable because, you know, we, we <clears throat> pardon me, are only like an eighth of the way there, a seventh of the way there. I don't know why I chose to take that one, but it, it didn't work out badly. Um, I, I think we've got, you know, every, uh, every ability in our power to make that happen, and I don't know. As of right now, I'm like, Caves, Caves 2? Maybe we can try to endeavor to not get hit on this run outside of the Hush fight. It's a little bit of a tall order. Like, it's, it's probably the kind of thing that makes you sound like a little bit of an asshole for trying to, you know, pick your shot. But if we can make it happen, that would be pretty cool. That would basically be... At least from a gameplay standpoint, as close to an ideal run as you can muster. Of course, we can't get hit by things like that explosion there. By the way, I fully expect we will get hit. Doesn't take much of a lapse of judgment to, you know, get hit once or twice on a run. Steam sale is probably worth the 12 points or whatever we're going to lose for picking it up. Definitely, as of right now, you got to think that this is a candidate for one of the strongest dailies. Most likely, like, let's be honest, we still have three floors to go until we find out if we're... Uh, gonna not get hit before boss rush. Let's not get too cocky, but boss rush will be the, the big test for enemies that, uh, you know, will appear off screen and then shoot beams at us, so gotta be concerned about that. We will open this golden chest. There's another key on the outside. Pick it up, pick it up. Was it worth it? Uh, arguably not really at this point. We already have enough bombs, and we could use more keys, but it's not the end of the world. I unfortunately can't really open that. A lot of golden chests without having Guppy's Paw so far. It's a little surprising. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm, I, I mean, I felt great on yesterday's daily, and I think we played really well on yesterday's daily. It was just that one lapse in judgment that uh, that led to me basically screwing myself out of a really good rank. That was that was really frustrating. There is a uh, obviously a key back there that we'll go back for, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good today. You know, remembering that. Sometimes it's better to keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes it's better to just season the steak with salt and pepper instead of trying to make, like, your own mushroom butter. If it goes wrong, it could go very wrong. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll become guppy. Um, we'll start with that. One thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard I try. Now, then we'll take uh, this... No, you wouldn't. I really thought that would convert to a Spirit Heart deal. Okay, well that's a... It's not the end of the world. First off, let me say that I'm an idiot, and remember I said keep it simple stupid and then fucked it up. But... Why did that not become a Spirit Heart deal? 
Also, why did I not stick with the nail? Which is what I wanted in the first place. <laughs> but what I'm hoping for is, we kill the stain, we get a deal with the devil, and we get an HP upgrade, in which case we can pay for it. But I, I feel like that is either a bug or I've learned something new. And you know, knowledge is knowledge is power, baby. All right, so we won't be coming guppy. We won't be becoming guppy right away, and I think that's okay. I do wish I still had the nail with me. No. Okay, that's bad. Explosive diarrhea is okay, I guess. Um, but but don't take that as if it's like a terrible situation. Of course I would rather be Guppy, but we already have the ability to fly. So that's not that big of a deal. Losing out on the flies is shitty. I do wish that I hadn't done that. But we still could become Guppy. We should get a deal with the devil on this floor for sure. Um, and I think we can still put down a really good time and it, it may not affect our score basically at all. But the thing that does suck is that it would have been awesome to have like long range flies for situations exactly like this. Where I don't want to get too close to enemies because they can hurt us. But yeah, that was, I mean, it's funny that it's actually very fitting that it happened when it did. When I was talking about, hey, keep it simple, stupid. Then I, I kept it a little bit more complicated than it needed to be and uh, seems like you've been acting like someone you aren't, which gets me frustrated. Life's like this though, it's, uh, you know, when you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and you turn it into that's our first little bit of damage please don't take that as an indication that the runs all going south now because I don't see it that way at all taking your first bit of damage hey, that's fine taking your first bit of damage on uh, on necropolis one that's not from curse rooms at least as pretty okay I think that's a sign of some very positive things in your life happening I was gonna try to get it to blow up one of those skulls but then I was like you know what keep it simple stupid now the real hallmark of this run, or the real, the real testament to our run, will be whether or not we let that mistake dictate the entirety of the run. It easily could. It's up to us to not let that happen. Credit card, free deals with the devil. Pretty solid. We don't need the broken stopwatch. We'll take the key instead. Those have been pretty handy so far. We do want to visit our item room. I didn't skip the item room on the last floor. No, I got Explosivo. It's a bad habit sometimes. Yep, this room is a little tough. This is a room we'd love to have some flies on. We are building... Ah, oh, that was bad. We're building Bloody Lust up pretty quick, though. We got our Spirit Heart already. And inside of our Deal with the Devil. It's a Krampus fight, that's okay. Credit card later. I do realize that I used store credit to buy something that was like three cents, didn't I? I may have. Life goes on. Uh, Krampus' head. Possibly... Possibly what we want. Why wouldn't it be what we want? Ooh. 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 Ooh, we got the Leviathan transformation. That is... I mean, that's real fast there. Faster, at least. I'm just a Zazel. Looking for a cat piece. Doesn't have to be Guppy's head. But I wouldn't go protest too much. Gotta be compatible. Turn me into guppy. Turn me into guppy. Just once, if I had no chance. I'm gonna show you how to generate flies at a regular basis. You're guppy. I'm horny. Come here for the daily. I I, I tried. That's um. Of course, as you know, that's that's Pony by Genuine. Noted R&B artist from the uh, late 90s, mostly. That's, if you don't know that song, that's the one that goes, Oh, 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 oh. Apparently a lot of kids knew it as a deburp song. Run's going good right now. I've already gotten over the fact that I've fudged up the guppiness. We're at 12 and a half minutes. We're one or two shot in a lot of bosses. It feels good. That was very lucky. We're, we're kind of steamrolling. Not as much as if we had some flies. But, uh, can't be mad. Can't be too mad, at least. If you're mad, you gotta reevaluate things in your own life, man. Like, I gotta be real with you. I'm a, uh, I'm a 27-year-old man, and I don't stress out about very much, and I've still got pretty high blood pressure, to the point where my doctor's like, your blood pressure shouldn't be that high. 
Like, that's, you, you got, like, a stressful life, and I'm like, well, I do deal with the internet all day, and she's like, oh, okay, say no more. Um, but you got, if you're getting bent out of shape about stuff in a video game, you gotta slow your roll and step back and, you know, like, Google image search a picture of a sunny Belgian day, or something like that. Life's too short to, to, you know, take, take even a second off your life to be negative about stuff like that. Instead, be negative about, um, you know, the portrayal of Jar Jar Binks in... Episode 1 of Phantom Menace, I mean, what were they thinking? But seriously, don't sweat the small stuff and... You know, it's not all small stuff. The title of that book seems disingenuous to me. I haven't read it, admittedly. Maybe they cover that, but... Um, don't sweat the small stuff. And most of it is, like, pretty small stuff in the whole scheme of things. Some of it is big stuff. And you should sweat the big stuff and then the small stuff will take care of itself. Because you'll be too busy sweating about the big stuff. Anyway, you get the idea. We got the map. The map is, uh... It's, it's an item. It's an item I'm happy to have. Boss Rush is going to be open to us right there. Didn't really want to do the extra room here. I know you get points for doing the extra room, by the way. But I'm I'm doing pretty well most of the time handling the dailies with my own kind of personal flair, right? I think when I'm motivated to play the dailies is when I'm like... Like, remember when we first got started playing the dailies and I was like, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. I've changed my play style and now the dailies are like the most fun that I have with Isaac on a daily basis. And I, I have fun with like the entirety of the game, basically. Some of the Mega Satan stuff's a little silly, but um, some of the some of the requirements, I guess. But um, I, I have fun with the game on a, on a daily basis and I like doing the dailies, but I think if I was like, we're going to clear out every room, wake me up when this floor's over, like I'd be... I'd be less inclined to do them as consistently as I do them, but I like doing them, so we're gonna do them. Pandora, not guppy. I guess we take it anyway. We take it anyway. <laughs> sort of works. Spider butt. Eh, I mean, it might be better than Pandora's box, but uh, we, there's no way to know that. We're not going to the cathedral, so we will use Pandora's box on Womb One. I wanted to say it like Christopher Lee. But I, he's he's English, and I only speak it, so you know, can't really uh, can't really meet him there. All right, well, let's fight Mom and then get ready for Boss Rush. Considering you know our damage plus Lusty Blood plus our Orbital, still a great run. You know this this run is super not tilt worthy. We'll take the Polaroid. That's good. I like the invincibility. Now, this is what I was thinking. You know, we got this uh, whole Judas's Shadow thing here. Um, but would we rather have double damage? Probably, because if we die... Um, this is going to be really bad for our rate of fire, by the way. But we don't really want Judas's Shadow. Because if we die, we lose uh, the effectiveness of Azazel's Laser. So that was less about, you know, find a good reason to take Eve's Mascara, and more about we have to trigger Boss Rush. We might as well roll the dice on Eve's Mascara. This is where you'd really love to have flies, by the way. Like, I'm not above admitting that I made a mistake, of course. It's part of being an adult. But, um, if I had flies here, we would actually be able to, like, consistently, uh... Kill these enemies before even having to deal with it like a second shot from Eve's Mascara. And that's going to be the real problem for us right now is that the Eve's Mascara shot takes a hundred goddamn years. Jump twice? Yeah. Okay. But we usually will get one kill straight off the bat. At least when, when we see the enemy. Yeah, there you go. And especially with Bloody Lust, we would be expecting to, um, to basically one shot the second enemy. Kind of trying to get Robo Baby to do my bidding here. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Thank you. But it is gonna slow us way down. And that ain't cool. I wish that we didn't have to deal with that. But we do! And it's my own idiocy, so... We're still hoping that one day... We managed to get that deal with the devil that pulls it all together. The thing that really bums me out is if you look at that deal with the devil that I ended up doing... I did, I did it all to take the nail first. For effectively no reason, because then I ended up rolling with Guppy's Paw instead. The nail could have at least given us the damage bonus. Wow, I didn't expect to get hit there. I still think that from a damage penalty standpoint, we're probably doing better than average right now. Even even for people that got Guppy, but like, let's be real. I would rather have Guppy right now. 
Trying to do as much damage as possible with um, with my fly because that doesn't have a charge time associated with it. We'll still be out of here within like 20 minutes. Almost certainly. I don't know why we're generating so many spirit hearts, but I like it. Oh, this would be good. Not quite dead, and he did explode on us, but it's okay. We'll get Cuba Meat to finish the job for us there. We're keeping our uh, keeping our other heart alive as well, the Golden Heart. He's dead somehow. Oh man, these are these guys are both kind of dicks. Not huge dicks, just kind of dicks. Like a proto dick. No spirit arts that time. Ragman, only problem is the range. Oh, come on. We're like consistently almost killing a boss with one hit. You're telling me the Fallen has uh, less HP than Mega Maw? Let's be honest. This guy's roasted and toasted if he doesn't rush me. Prepare for the roasting and the toasting, mister. You did it to yourself. That's what really hurts. I ah, the charge timer. Maybe we would have, I mean, there, there's another option here. We might have been better off, and I'm sure a lot of people are saying this right now. We might have been better off taking Judas's shadow, but then just not using it, which also could have been fine. There's also the, like, non-zero chance we would have been best off taking Judas's shadow and using it, but I really value the brimstone laser. We're done already. That was pretty easy. Uh, we're out of here by 1927. You remember the Smashing Pumpkin song? Oh, I have to kill this thing to get out of here. <laughs> ah, ah, that was so good how it actually hit me there. Uh, okay, down to the next floor. That's fine. That's fine. We still got this credit card. We still got it. Scores looking fine. Yeah, we'll take PJs. I don't actually think we take um, the HP. Because I we well we won't be paying three spirit hearts for a devil deal. The reason we won't be pay, paying three spirit hearts for a devil deal is because we got credit card. Whatever devil deal shows up, we're paying you know nothing for it. I really would love just an outrageous tears upgrade. I guess we should be careful what we wish for because some of those do exist that we would not be big fans of. Another thing that would that would make this a little easier on me is. Uh, Actual brimstone, so we could hit more than one or two enemies at a time. Almost got hit there. Gotta say, except for that right there, it felt like my dodging was on point. That's the kind of room we're going to be interested in right there. And there's our finish, and maybe like the first hinted rock I've seen on this run. Whoa, and it leads to a crawl space slash black market that is a black market that can give me everything for free because of credit card. Everything for free. It's a song I made up. Okay. Yeah? Why not, right? We'll take sharp plug. We'll take remote detonator. We'll take black candle. We'll take car battery. And we will take Nothing else. And at this point, if they want to charge me three spirit hearts, six spirit hearts, even nine spirit hearts for a deal, I'll take it. I'd rather keep permanent Polaroid invincibility alive. That's right. We just kept him at bay there. Ooh, baby. Well, um, do we pay three spirit hearts for the next devil deal? That's basically what we're asking here, and I'll say the answer is yes for now. Bad gas? Okay, sure. Head down to the next floor. That was pretty solid. If I were a boss fight. Uh, I think this is a little too convenient. But I am going to try. You know, back into the left over here. We got the hush fight coming up. We do a lot of damage. But um, we don't have very good range. So we're going to have to get real close. That's slightly dangerous. No, we're leaving the nickel behind. I don't want to risk the damage, honestly. Um, we could surround him with bombs and try to play a little cute, but he does have a lot of shots that are going to, like, function irrespective of that, so. I feel like it might be for the best for us to just treat it, you know, with respect as, like, a, a fairly traditional fight. But using bombs as blockers might not be a terrible idea. This fight, right now, in my opinion, is all about just minimizing lack of damage we take, and then of course we're just hoping for Guppy at the end of it. 
If not Guppy, Brimstone. Would I rather have Brimstone or Guppy? I can't say no to the Gupster, you know that. Horror Babylon. Oh, we can take both for sure. Um, I mean, there's a temptation in here, but I really don't want to just die. And I think if we take if we take uh, Book of Belial, we'll probably run a pretty good risk of dying. Book of Belial, a much better spirit or a much better spacebar item than uh, Remote Detonator most of the time, but not nearly as meaningful as the three spirit arts, especially because of the yeah. I mean, even with permanent Polaroid invincibility, let's try to force the synergy a little bit. That's a bit of a tough one. Uh, I think I'll go for the extra damage, but Rosary might not be, you know, hot trash there. Let's take this. I think we should take the key anyway. Are you a wizard is not very good. I think we take Death's Touch, now that I've had to think about it. I just really, I'm, I'm a little paranoid about the idea that maybe we could end up doing um, boss rush, or not boss rush, but hush like 10 times. Uh, maybe you've seen me do that. I, it has happened on one or two occasions where I've had to lose all nine of my lives against Hush. Uh, it's about as much fun as it sounds. Cursed Eye and Nine Lives have the potential to do that. Okay, this is going fine. Even if it looks like it's slow, it's not that bad. Now the real question, well it's not really the real question, a real question how the heck does car battery work with remote detonator? I've been wondering the same thing myself. Might as well blow it up. Um, we're not going to find out against the Hush. I'm assuming it just works once. This is all... We've done Eve's Mascara Hush before and died. Several times. What the secret is, is just do not break your charge accidentally like an idiot. As soon as you break your charge, you know you're behind the eight ball by a little bit. It worked! <laughs> there were too many shots coming at me, and I was like, hey, 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 hey. Just put a bomb down in front of you to protect you while you're charging. We'll try we'll try that strat in the future as well. We're doing decent damage, and I guess the great thing about... Well, the decent thing about Eve's Mascara is that, um... You know, it does require us to wait to shoot, which gives us a long time to give, uh... Hush's armor a chance to dissipate, I guess. I still don't fully know how the Hush mechanics even work. We should have been hit there. We do have some flies, some other orbitals, and infamy, so... You know, it's not like vac, 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 vac when you, when you don't get hit on a shot, but... I hate this. Yeah, we deserve that. But, it does give us a chance to go in there. Do some damage. Truth be told, the continuum shots are actually really good if I can make sure that I'm right next to him when the shit goes down. Baby, when the shit goes down, every single will can that confess my love and tenderness. I'll show you what it's all about. Baby, say you will succumb to me. So, baby, come to me when the shit goes down. Uh, I refuse, basically, uh, constitutionally, to let this be another complete capitulation on the Hush fight. We have to get close enough. Oh my god, that must have been infamy, because we got knocked back. Back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I'll let him understand it, you know, from a young G's perspective and all that. Um, still got plenty of HP. Am I happy with this present situation? No, I would say probably not is the answer. Pop up. Pop up, you son of a bitch bison's ass so hard. Some people have asked me about that. That's, that's not my original quote, obviously. That's a quote from... Jean-Claude Van Damme's uh, 1995 starring role in Street Fighter. He plays Gomez Adams. Raul Julia plays Morticia. It's... It's fan It's uh, tour de force for the Cuban actor. No! 
It can't be! Give me with your best shot, you turkey licker. I got you right where I want you, you s silly vanilla. If you locomote towards me, you best not miss. Oh, dude. Continuum shots are ideal. We're not hitting him from there. Well, this is a big moment for, for me and for planet Earth. I'd say, if I'm not being facetious. We've done it! We've done it! <laughs> You're crazy for this one! Ooh, alright, now to beat Mathis. Wait a minute, why are we going... Are we going to the the, 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 the cathedral? The cathedral! That's good news, because then we can go down to the chest afterwards. At this point, we've already done the hardest part of this run. That doesn't mean we won't die at least, you know, several times and maybe nine over the course of this entire, uh, you know, the rest of this run. I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen, to be honest with you. But we have done the part of this that should be the most difficult. I was really about to regret not taking the rosary on that uh, hush fight, huh? Things got a little dicey there, temporarily. Just wait for the right moment. Time's still good. I didn't realize, man, how how much it would affect us to miss that guppy item. You know, you take it for granted. Obviously, we gotta check that out. Might as well come in here as well. Ooh, paid for itself. And then we got real flippin' large. The lovers. Unfortunately, basically worthless for us. Maybe not forever, though? When we come back to life, we'll have one red heart. Maybe we could spin that into two if we get an HP upgrade on the, the chest proper. My favorite BBC docudrama. Sweet. One more wave. I'm ready. So it turns out that probably not getting guppy was actually a much larger throw than I originally gave it credit for. That being said, I think we've still done a bang up job here. Like, I think we've still done really well. Could have easily lost ourselves uh, on that hush fight. Maybe maybe I threw to even get hurt as much as I did, but to be honest with you, I really feel like we did our... Whoa, that scared me. I really feel like we, <laughs> believe it or not, did above averagely there, you know? Above averagely? May or may not be an actual phrase. We performed above the mean. That was a really clutch jump. That was also a very clutch jump. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. You are now deceased though, and that's all I've ever cared about in my life. Save your charge. It's good practice. Sweet. Um. Fuck the key, we don't need it. If he dropped one there, I would have been all over it, though. Bit of a surprise, but he is still dead. This was pretty much 100% guaranteed to be the right direction. Okay, here we go. This is a, a little bit of a moment of truth. Definitely should have used that to block shots before I blew it up. Because nobody likes having to get in this close to fight Isaac. Range is definitely your friend. As Azazel. Yep, that was bound to happen as soon as I got in there. But we did a ton of damage to him right after, so... Don't let him teleport. He's done. Okay, sweet. Card is High Priestess. Relatively good. Let's see what we got going on down here. I'm giving up the Pipe Dream a little bit of being able to handle the Luke and Mathis on this run. Looks like we're probably going to end up maybe a thousand short or something like that. Halo of Flies may give us Beelzebub. Nope. Betrayal is better than nothing. And, uh... Again, I have to give uh, some kudos to Mathis for putting down yet another good daily. Even if, uh... In my own head... I'm privately saying to myself that the only reason it happened is because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's so uh, tears down sucks pretty hard, but um, you know, it the numbers don't lie, right? Those those are committed to to the scoreboard and uh, he's gotten us a few times in a row here. 
Turns out he's not as bad at uh, at Isaac as some people seem to think he is. Stompy is uh, actually basically just minus 20 points, but if you give me the choice between 20 points and a sweet ass red beard, I will take the sweet red ass beard. Sorry, did I stutter? It'll be interesting, I think, to try to figure out whether Eve's Mascara was the right pickup. I'm pretty confident that you either go Eve's Mascara or Judas's Shadow and don't touch it, but... Or don't try to use it, I guess I should say, but... I don't know, man. I don't flippin' know. You know? Isaac is not an exact science for me. It's, uh, it's an art. It's a painting. I play how I feel. We've already done quite a lot of damage, and not too much of that is going to be from High Priestess. I was going to say Mother of Judas Priestess, which, like, not even as a joke. That was just what my brain put together as the sentence to finish that there. Yo, what is this Tuhu Ikaruga shit right here? You're busting up my brain! This ain't the Magic School Bus. It's supposed to be a video game, Grandpa. Okay. We got 40.8 thousand. That is such a bad rank. <laughs> I hear I thought I was like, oh, we're, we're putting down a pretty good performance today, Scooby. Nope. Uh, everybody sucks. Including myself, but also Luke and Mathis, who beat me straight up. Congrats for that. For now, I had a good time on that daily. Really wish I became Guppy, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.